Hello, everybody. Good afternoon to ya. It is the afternoon here, after all. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We're gonna keep going with the one painful year challenge. Now, I haven't played in... Goodness, several days. Uh... Actually, don't even remember the last time I played. It was, it was several days ago, though. And uh, I've just been so busy with work and home life. And it's the turn of the year, so uh, right now it is Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. Pretty nuts. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, uh, we just had a helicopter, and I just used it to burn a bunch of zombies. So I'm pretty sure... There we go. I'm pretty sure I'm okay... to be able to go moving about. I think I want to go back to those neighborhoods that I've been trying to clear for quite a while now because I still need a saw. Now I could go out to those warehouses, but that would just mean more burning <laughs> and I don't necessarily feel like burning zombies right now. So I just want to go back to those neighborhoods, poke around, see if I can get into any more of the houses. Do I have... Ah, see, look, I have a bag filled with things I don't need right now. Hang on. The game's kind of choppy when I first load in anyways, so it might not be such a good thing to... Or might not, <laughs> might not be such a bad thing to uh, let the game wake up a little bit as I get going here. Uh, I think I've got, yeah. Let's take these and put these up. Along with cooking. I have a Molotov. So I don't really need these. Uh, just eat the pickles. don't really need the battery on me right now. And the sheet. The hunting knife can go on my waist and same with the nightstick. Okay. That leaves a nice open bag. I also have another bag. And I still have the katana. Yeah, I think we're looking better. This is this is definitely better. Let's go. Now there shouldn't be any zombies hanging out around here. No. <laughs> this is this is actually gonna be pretty good. Uh there shouldn't be a whole lot of zombies because I just burned a whole ton of them. Oof, man, look how... Yeah, the game, game got a little choppy there as I came running in. <laughs> That's another duffel bag. Let's see if I can't get one or two of them. Okay, or four. That's cool, too. Oof. Zomboid is running really funky for me right now. I don't know. I might have to do a restart on it or something.
I hope I don't, but it's acting a little weird. Oh, 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 duffel bag. Give me the duffel bag. All right, let's go deal with this guy. could just be that insane population lag. I mean, that that's a big thing whenever you play with insane population. You're going to get some lag, but I've killed a lot of zombies, so it's not like we're at peak population anymore. You need to come out by me? I'd feel better if you did. There we go. I never get the stab. Not quite like that. There's still so much food in here. Should I eat some? Am I still struggling with my weight? Yeah, 74 and stable. Let's, can I? Let's eat a can of sardines. I think this will be good. Uh, it's not raising my weight, but that's yeah, okay. It's not going down anymore either. I just don't want it to go down anymore. That's a big deal to me. What you doing in here, guy? Um, how's that shirt? Eh, it's actually crud. Okay. Zombies. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she came right up behind me. I was a little worried about that as I was backing towards the door in the window. There we go. Just put that back in my belt. Still, still lively with zombies, this area is. Don't know why I had to say that like Yoda, but. <laughs> I want to search some of these cars, too, really bad. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. Looks like that shirt has a hole in it, too. Yeah, it does. Dang. I want more denim shirts. They, uh, they rip pretty easy. Especially when you have thin skin and you walk through the trees. It's just so much easier to have your clothes be cut, too. Maintenance is nice. It means I can push my katana a little bit further. Uh, I like that. Yeah, there's still several of you guys here.
funny I was able to keep him into a nice little pile like that. Short blunt went up. No, no. Stay down. Zombie right there. All right, this right here is what I care about. Dang it. A baseball bat? Heck yeah. Hockey mask? Nah. It's a little, uh... It's a little too horror movie for me. A couple of metal bars. These actually aren't bad weapons. And I'll take the garbage bag. Two of you guys come from. Okay. Whatever. This house has boards on it, so this might be. Like an old survivor safe house? Yep, it is. All right. Dang it. No saw. Okay. I want to try and secure this house because I actually want to poke through it. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Are you serious? They all came out at once. All right. Okay, we can do that. Oh boy, not like this though. This isn't fun. Ooh. I'm gonna attract some other attention if I keep just backing up. So I gotta be going into a place that's safe. Except for this guy in front of me. Katana's not doing as much work as I hope, but it is better than using the crowbar right now. Switch back to a different weapon so I'm not burning through the katana anymore. a lot of zombies. Um, yeah, let's take the 
matches still. That works for me. That also works. Man, there's still so many of you guys around here. kind of amazing. Yeah, I got three zombies sitting here. Whew. What do you mean? There's another one? <laughs> see about resting in here since the church is burned down. Out of water, huh? It's a good thing I'm out here and away from home. There we go. Can I grab everything from here? Oh, there's some camp pineapple, I guess. I can take that. Having some extra can openers isn't such a big bad thing. <laughs> Take the lighter. It's actually starting to get dark, so I should head back. I almost wish, dang it, I wish I could just like secure like a house out here and just sleep in one of these houses for the night. Presents, huh? Give me those. Oh, my bag's full. All right. Okay. I'll I'll head back then. It's it's hard still working with a duffel bag. Yeah. Let's not go that way. It's hard working with a duffel bag still. I'm always heading home. Always having to drop stuff off before I can go get more. Just more often than I want to be. I've got these other duffel bags, but then, I mean, I'm already weighed down with the stuff that I'm carrying. When I move away from this town, I do want to be able to snag up both of those ice chests, if not at least one of them. Man, there's a lot of zombies here still. Cleaning up this town is not not been easy. I've been at it for about a month now, haven't I? Yeah, I've been at it for about a month. Well, 
Let's just try to go unseen here. Let's see about making some food. Some actual good food. I worked hard for that cooking pot. I definitely want to make use of it. Let me put some of this other stuff away here. I don't think I got... No. It's the funny thing, man. Like, I didn't even come home with a whole lot. came home with just a little bit of stuff. Okay. Is this weapons here? Yes, this is weapons. Oh, it's because of the metal bars. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Keep that. Baseball bat. That can go in here. And you know what? Actually, how many... I have lots of crowbars, don't I? I could have swore I had like five crowbars or something crazy. Maybe that was a different character that I have. You know, if that's the case, I don't know how many crowbars I have at the moment. Oh yeah, and this one's almost broken. Yeah, I need to put this crowbar up and put the bat on my back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I'll put this lighter in here. And I will eventually read all these magazines, maybe on a day where it's not advantageous for me to go outside. But I'll run all this stuff upstairs and then make some food and call it a night. Oops, food. I know it's kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. I uh, don't really have a good way of fixing that at the moment yet. Let's see. You know what? Just eat. Just eat some chips. What key was this? <laughs> Where did I pick this up from? Was this that church house? Oops, the caps lock is on. Pretty sure that's where that went to. All right. 
what about a book? What am I supposed to be reading right now? Carpentry, cooking. Cooking is good. First aid would be good. Even though first aid is not really going to come into play all that much, hopefully. There's also trapping. Let's go through trapping. I still haven't found uh, a metal working mask, a welding mask. I still haven't found one of those yet either, so... We'll see. That was odd. I had my chat completely messed up there. It's all frozen and locked up. sleep in a little bit. It's okay. Or not. Um, I will take tailoring. I can put that right there. All right, real quick, I want to go eat something, try and bring my weight back up. What to eat? You know what, just eat the bag of chips again, it's fine. I know I'm burning through quite a lot of it, but I don't have the water at the moment to uh, engorge <laughs> myself on the beans. So I'll just need to try and get some more water, maybe. Where did you guys come from? Interesting. Several zombies hanging around my house. That's that's odd. Don't usually have them hanging out right there anymore. Or at least I haven't in a while. Gonna do a little bit of run in here. Try to raise that sprint skill. There's a couple of zombies right here. Let's go ahead and take them. They'll eventually wander into the parking lot. And I actually don't want that to happen. Ridge map. I think I already have one. In fact, I'm almost positive. Because I've, uh... <laughs> I've been through this conversation with myself before. What do we got? Nothing? Oh, looks like a few of you have already wandered into the parking lot. I 
Hello? Not here. No, no. No, no, stop it. Let's take care of these guys again behind the grocery store. This is where I walk, so I don't really like seeing zombies here. It just makes it easier for me to walk down this way, but... With all the zombies, I've been beginning to question that. Oops. Oops. Look at that. Oh man, there's a few of you guys. Ooh, where did you all come from? Ooh, okay. Okay, this is a lot of zombies. I gotta use the cars here to like split them up a little bit. Take some beta blockers. Tired. Just the first stages, though. It's not so bad. Could start doing the loot scoot buggy here, but I'm gonna get in the car and rest just a little bit. Goodness gracious. There's always so many. Yeah, there's still a few. Man, how did this get this bad? I just did a burn it right here. Is that why it's so bad? Am I missing something about that? two more. There we go. This is the way to do it. Slow and steady wins the race. not the most thrilling. I'll be honest. Thrilling kind of comes second to me right now when it, for the challenge. trying to keep my hits focused on the same zombie over and over if I can. Makes them uh, die a little bit quicker. Oops. I'm starting to 
punch up a bit here. I don't care for that. Alright, there we go. Finally got her. There we go. There we go! Another zombie here. Another two. Zombie after zombie after zombie. How many are here? Nobody knows. You know, I just want to point out, I've had two, two or three burns down here. It's, like, it's at least two or three now. This is ridiculous. Some might say insane. Yeah, I need this. I need this driveway clear. Like, I question how much it's worth it, right? I want to know. Because there isn't any respawn on. So, in theory... I can clear this. In theory, it's possible. you guys over here. Not next to your friends. Here comes another one. Cigarette break time. Oop. I've already got one on me. This guy was standing out in the field. He's got a watch on him. I at least want to be getting the watches, you know? So I'm I'm getting something out of this. Not just racking up the body count, but getting at least something tangible. Alright, I think this is most of the group. Boy, that was close. I could see it getting close. That was a mistake. Do not go in on those kinds of zombies. Right, let's get some reach here. Oops. Well, 
let's get a little further ahead so I can take some beta blockers here. Only noon? Okay. I'm almost at eleven hundred zombies. Three more and it'll be eleven hundred. Uh, killed with weapons, at least. There shouldn't be too many left here. Yeah, it's just a few. again. To be fair, I'm not really resting all that long whenever I'm doing it. Whenever I go sit in the car, I mean. It'd be nice to get into the grocery store, actually, and go use that chair. That could go a long way for me. I should move one out here. I do a lot of fighting here. I should move one out here. It'll just keep me more efficient. Um, you know what? I will take those long socks. <laughs> I feel like I don't pick up socks enough in this game. And they are usually the first thing to be ripped if you have to rip clothing on yourself. So, in case that happens, I should start picking up a few more socks. Oh. Didn't know somebody followed me in. Keep on the lookout, though. I'm all right. A little hungry, though. Let's grab a bag of chips. Be eating a lot of chips right now. Mm, weight is actually going down. Give me this... all the bags of chips. Alright. Let me take this chair with me. There's another chair that's in there I can always use if I'm uh, finding myself inside. But I would like a chair for out here. Because of how much I fight. There we 
we go. Yes, fall over. Stay down. Got another one out of here. Good old eagle eyes here. Alright. Move to these people. Oh, my word. Okay, there's more of you here than I thought. Oop. There's a zombie behind me. Starting to get sick from all the corpses. Yeah, I'm getting a little sick. It's not too bad right now. Gosh, there's so many right here. This could be good, though, because a lot of these were probably in the neighborhood that I'm trying to get into. So I'll be honest, I'd rather fight them here than in that neighborhood where they can get into rooms or in between houses and come out and startle me. I'm underweight, so my exertion goes a lot faster now. and take out as many of these guys as I can before I'm forced to turn around from the sickness. Ooh. Ooh. That was weird. Okay, so that that's something can actually consistent that's dumb about Zomboid. If you go to run backwards but you're fighting or you're in combat stance or something, your character will run forwards instead. And then he'll correct himself and run the direction that you want after a short time. I'm not sure why he does that. Um, but it is a thing. So, if you find your character running forward, even though it's not the direction that you wanted to go, just, just keep running. Don't stop. He is going to eventually turn around and run back towards the zombies, but don't panic and have him stop. Don't have him, like, stop to turn around and go back the other way that he was going. Just, just have him keep running. Because your bump into zombies is not really that bad. It's worse for the zombies than it is for you. In most cases. I gotta grab that watch. I want yours. I want yours. You've got one, too. Yeah, see, I'm fine with putting the focus on the watches right now. Okay, now I'm tired. 
Gotta be quick when I'm tired. Come here. How? Did you see that? He like almost jumped back up onto his feet. Yikes. Yikes, I'm gonna be careful about that. That could not have ended well. There's a holster there. I guess I'll drop it. Oh. Go. Go back. Definitely want all the watches. Am I still getting a boost to electrical? I am. So I should definitely be taking these watches apart now. I'll take the radio too. Oh, shotgun shells. Should I probably grab one of these shotguns and take it home now? back up this way where I know it's safe. Still not able to get into the neighborhood. Still working on it. It's been a long time. A lot of work. That's okay. Sometimes the best things come with time. Let's just try to be constructive with the time I have. Oh, not bad. I'm going to eat that whole box of mac and cheese tonight. Just put this stuff on here for now while I organize everything. And you know what? I'm going to put guns and ammo probably in this metal locker. And I'm going to remove my gun from my waist. I don't really need it right now. And it weighs me down more than anything else. socks away. Okay, so I've got two pairs of socks in there. I've actually got watches in here. Let's pull those out. And the pistol. I can go put this stuff up. And since it's vanilla Zomboid, I actually need two of the same weapon to be able to fix them. So that's helpful to have two M9s already. Um, what else? I gotta put the extra can opener away. 
All right, let's disassemble watches. I've got 45 in here. Now I get the multiplier from the books plus the XP boost. There's three. Cool, cool. Let's disassemble the radio as well. Electrical stuff is going to need its own box here pretty quick. And if I can get a saw, I'll start making crates that I can start storing things in. But until I get that saw, I'm not making a crate. I got to tell you, though, I'm really curious about what's in this this room that's up here. And I don't know if it's worth beating my bat into oblivion to open it. I don't know if it's worth any of my tools or weapons right now. So I'm not going to do that. Let's go grab some water before it gets too dark. We gotta put the can opener up anyways. So I like to grab extras of things in case I have to ditch like a bag somewhere. Uh, that's, that's the biggest, like most primary reason as to why I'll grab multiples of an item. Uh, let's not put that in the bag, because then I have to take it out. Katana we can put in the bag for a little bit. Let's grab some water so I can actually do some cooking. There's not much water left in this place. Actually, there is no water left in this little one. So let's jump in here. Cooking with water is expensive. <laughs> water is, is worth more than gold now. <laughs> create a stew from all my beans. Let's put some beef jerky in there. Forty-five. Can I add anything else to this? Can I add the corned beef? Yes, I can. Perfect. Hmm. I can't add any more, so just go ahead and eat that. Let's cook this up. I gotta go grab the rip sheet. And light fire, dirty rag. 
It's too bad it doesn't give off any, like, light, even just a little bit. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, my fuel just ran out. Cook it all over again. All right. Oh, okay. Actually, it just picks up where it left off. That's helpful. half of that. We'll put it down here on the counter and I'll eat the rest in the morning. Uh, yeah, and it's 10 o'clock, so it's time for bed. I'm gonna try and get some reading in, but not gonna happen. <sighs> 7 a.m. That's decent. You know what? For the morning, I'm going to run across the street and go fill my cooking pot. It might have to be like a morning ritual now for me to run somewhere and go fill up my cooking pot. That way I have food for tonight when I return. Or at least I have the ability to make food then. Oh, there's a few zombies in here. Everyone drops keys for this place. Oops. Let's fill my cooking pot. Fortunately, that is still not enough. I don't want a zombie. Ooh. You mean you've just been quiet in here this whole time, you jerk? You know how many times I've been through here? Not cool. I was about to say I didn't want a zombie to hear me and come walking in, but as it seems that was the least of my worries. Look at this fog. Okay, well, never mind. I'm not going anywhere today. Man, I hate fog. Well, at least I've got the cooking pot full of water. Put it right here. Okay, actually, you know what? Since it's foggy, let's do just a little bit of organizing here. Give me all of the electrical stuff. I want it off this shelf. There's too much of it. Oops, that was ripped sheets. I actually don't want those. Yeah, you can stay here. 
Okay. I do not need all of this stuff clogging up my shelves. Um. What? Give me metalworking and mechanics as well. Maybe I should do that today, work on some mechanics so I can start getting hot wiring down. Probably be a pretty good idea. <clears throat> yeah, do I have my screwdriver on me? I do. Let's unpack my screwdriver. I'm actually going to head down to the parking lot then. I just cleared that area. At least, like, you know, quite a bit. So, I'm hoping that there aren't any zombies down this way again. We're about to find out. I'm going to try and stealth in the fog, too, as best I can. Oh boy. Already been spotted. By far more zombies than I thought. Thought it was just one. guys come from Is this the parking lot? Yeah, it is. You can see the light posts. It's the only reason I know it's the parking lot. Oh, okay, I'm over by my truck. Yeah, let's try to do some work on the truck. It's foggy, so hopefully nobody notices me. little bit of mechanics there. Let's try to go this way and do some more on these other cars. Mechanics is not something that will take me long to level. I just have to level it, I think, one more time. Because I should have... Oh, wow, there's an actual working battery in here. It's not, like, a good battery, but it, it would work. That's pretty cool. This fog makes me nervous as hell, though. Trying to pay attention to the Moodles, too, in case there's a, a panic one that comes up. And I just don't see the zombie. on to the next one. 
I've killed so many here. I should be able to do this finally today without being disturbed. Yeah, see this battery shot completely. I think I'll be okay. Where am I at for mechanics? I'm actually almost there. Like one more car. There's one right here. Oh, there's actually this taxi cab right here. Hang on. Man, the, this, this fog is so thick. It's super hard to see anything at all. head home so I can read the book and yeah I can hotwire cars now okay cool that that is something that I can do not that it makes a huge difference I don't have a whole lot of gas so a car is only going to get me so far without any gasoline I got to try and find a generator which means Getting back into the neighborhood. Or at least not getting back in there. I've hardly even been able to get into it at all, but if I can try and get into like the neighborhood where all the houses are and keep searching, I'm I'm adding a generator to the list now, so I need a saw and a generator. Here's the mechanic shop. Let's move behind it like I usually do. Just try to stay out of sight and stay in some familiar territory here. I really don't want to get caught out in this fog. But actually, it looks like it might be clearing a little bit. Okay, whew home again. I am reading through trapping, but I'll be honest, mechanics is far more important than trapping is. I have mechanics too, right? Yep. Great, let's read that. We're going to spend the rest of the day reading. We'll just sit on that. Actually, you know what? No, I went through all the trouble to, like, have this mod be able to be on while I'm doing this challenge. I want to sit in the chair. <laughs> that's, like, that's the only mod that I have installed that does anything other than the base game is just being able to sit in my chair. It's it's the little things in life, really. All right, I'm starting to get hungry. I don't want to let that go. It has not been good for me to do that so far. So let's eat up all of these beans. What else can I add? Let's do the spaghetti bolognese. That's pretty high in calories, too. 
Gonna have to go back to the grocery store and grab some more high calorie foods. But at some point, that grocery store is not gonna have any more. And it's just gonna be fruits and vegetables again. So I'm gonna have to find an alternative, which again is probably the neighborhoods. All, all of my goals seem to point me in that direction. Do I have, yeah, there it is. Just overlooked it. There we go. Let's keep reading while that cooks. That's gonna take a little while to cook though, because it's a stew, so. up fire. I'm going to go ahead and eat half of this. I'll eat the other half before bed. speed things along here. Now I have slow readers, so that's why it takes like an entire day just to get through like three quarters of the book. And it's only going to get worse too as, as we go up in levels and the books get longer. But these are books that I don't need to take with me now when I go to move away from here. So that's helpful at the, le at the very least. 5 a.m. Lots of snow. What is going on today? There could be a snowstorm happening today. Oops, I sat on the ground. No, I want to sit. I want to sit <laughs> in the chair. Let's let the sun come up a bit more because it is it's darker because of the snow. Six o'clock is probably fine. Let's go take a look outside. It's actually not that bad. It's about zero degrees Fahrenheit right now. I've got the gear to be able to handle that kind of temperature. Uh, let's do the morning ritual and go fill the fill the cooking pot so I actually have food for tonight. Let's go do that. I'll try to run a bit, stay warm. heating up now. Looks like there's a couple of zombies hanging out down this way. I'm going to try and do my best to avoid them. I don't really need to tangle with these guys at the moment. just want to get, get a little bit of water. That's actually just enough. Oh, 
Oh, I have no idea what I leveled there, but I leveled something. Something leveled up. Light-footed. Sneaking is almost there. That's going to be pretty nuts, sneaking level 4. Alright. Now that that's done, let's go see about getting into the neighborhood. This isn't too bad. I think I can handle a snowstorm. It's not, you know, super foggy. At least I can still see in front of me. Do a little bit of yagen. The zombie just kind of hanging out here. reacting to the storm and moving around. Because they could be filling empty space again at this moment. It's pretty empty of zombies from here. I like this car. There are several of these cars I want to be able to hotwire and get back to the house at some point. Let's try to sneak a bit as we come through here. Still several zombies right through here. That one looks like it's got a backpack on its back. Bring him back. Looks like I'm going to want to start with the bat and get some reach. Warming up. Probably the fighting. This 
before I heard a zombie just growl at me. Let's just try to keep moving through here. Once again, back in a very familiar spot. No idea how accessible any of these houses are going to be now, but I'm hoping that all of these zombies I've been killing has helped, and at least made it possible now. It looks like it is. Sneaking's going up. That's yeah, because there's a couple of zombies right here. Back up. Let's take some beta blockers. That's not good. That's a katana right there, though. Hello, katana zombie. about as broken as my other one, but I'm going to use it to finally get into these neighborhoods. I'm, I'm ready. I, I want to, I want to see what's in here. I want to get a saw. I want stuff. Spidey senses were tingling there. I didn't want to stay in there. Something told me it just wasn't a good idea. Saw. Hammer, give me the hammer. Okay. Thought she was coming, like, right away. Put that on my waist. It might have been wrenches that I had a ton of. that 
was looking for me. Let's let's just take care of it. I don't want any of them wandering around looking for me. Yes, give me that. Woo! <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, let's grab all of this stuff. All the high calorie foods. Dump that saucepan on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this other one too because I want it for collecting water. I don't really have, like, a whole lot of buckets or anything. Let's fill my bottle. Ah, uh, there's a beer in here. Rest up just a tad. Metalworking, trapping. Uh, you know what? I actually do want the scrap wood. So I can cook with it. I think I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. I've got everything that I needed. I want to do stuff at home now. I've got a saw, finally. After all this time, I finally got a saw. That's progress. Let's keep that progress going. Ooh, I saw that zombie at the last possible second. I just had to charge through her. get out of here. The storm is pretty nuts. I think I've uh, braved it long enough as well. I like this car. I did. It must have been the wind. I don't really have anything important in there right now. I was thinking about bringing the truck home, but to be honest, it's it's actually probably better down here for the moment. The only thing that sucks about it is I can't just walk out my door and do mechanics. But um, if I have to make a getaway, I don't want it to be in a spot where I already have a bunch of zombies swarming me. I don't want to have to go somewhere else, get in the car, and then leave.
Yeah, it's actually not, like, as cold as it looks. Like, it's chilly, but you could, as long as you were moving around, you, you could, you know, survive in this just fine. zombie right there. Let's call it out. I don't want it in there. I did see one though. Yep, there it is. Looks like it was a loner, too. That's good. Good news for me. some food here. Not the Molotov, I want the ketchup. <laughs> Just the one, actually. Well, give, yeah, actually, give me both of them. And I'm going to put both of them outside. I'm gonna try and catch some water on a warmer day with these. Now, my carpentry, what, isn't doing so hot. It's at three. It's, it, I mean, it's almost there. Uh, let's just add. And let's go drop some of this stuff off real quick, and then I'll start cooking. And then we're going to disassemble some stuff. We're going to disassemble some stuff and get some better barricades on these windows. I've got several wrenches. Uh, yeah. Well, let's disassemble some stuff first here. My weight is... Wow, still stable at 74. That's actually pretty nuts. There's Carpentry 3, though, already. cooking pot and to be honest let's I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in this canned corned beef as well I just I really want to try and get that that number going up yeah let's do let's do the beans again time I can actually add all of it. Okay. Oh, and I need a ripped sheet now. I'm actually going to need several ripped sheets.
least I know where to go to get ripped sheets. <laughs> the alleyway behind the grocery store. I just gotta stand there and rip up some clothes for a while. Did that just go into my cabinet? It did. And I failed to move it. Okay, I stopped caring. Let's grab mechanics. And as usual, we're just going to go ahead and read mechanics while I cook the food. Nope. Nope. Hitting the wrong button here. Put it out. I had to eat half of that. So when I eat half, my weight is still not going up. To wait just a little bit here until my hunger goes down so I can eat the rest of this. There we go. Oh, still can't. Okay. Eat all. Okay. There we go. That looks better. That looks much better. Get me out of the underweight zone here. Perfect. Mechanics volume two is done. Ooh, man. Let's disassemble the shelf. I want all of the wood from these. There we go. We'll organize all of that stuff in the morning when I can actually see it. I guess at this point, I don't really have anything else to do, so let's just speed up time here so I can go to sleep and actually start doing something in the morning. Still got the crazy, insane blizzard going on outside. In fact, it probably looks a little bit worse than yesterday. I didn't get any nails from that. It's actually upsetting. Because I don't know if I have the nails now in order to to do this. I certainly don't. Haven't found a single box of nails yet either. All right. Let me grab the cooking pot. I'm going to have to go, like, disassemble some beds or something like that to go grab some nails. Let me just drop these right there.
All right. I can go probably disassemble some tables in the spiffo. Let's grab a few of these guys here and deal with them real fast. actually colder today, yeah. It feels, no, 15 to 20 degrees colder. No, it's actually the same. Temperature-wise, it's a little colder. It's 14 degrees compared to 25 yesterday, but it is still early. That can change. Small little group, not anything too big. Now let's check the spiffo. There's a couple more zombies down here, but I want to get in here and disassemble the tables. Yeah, there's quite a few more zombies down this way. Try to use the car here to split them up. guy looks like he might have a metal pipe on him. Yeah, metal bar. Make for a decent weapon. trying to pull them away a bit. So then the zombies there don't hear me when I start smacking them. The storm should cover up the sound a bit, but the sound in Zomboid is pretty inconsistent, so you never know. Best to just stick to the safe tactic and rinse and repeat. There's a couple of knives on these zombies here that I'm interested in. Fire axe. Hello, zombie. <laughs> I'll be with you in just a second. There we go. Fire axe zombie. Hell yeah. I will certainly take a free fire axe. mission was nails, but the 
many of you guys got weapons and want to come out? Yeah, see, that zombie down there actually heard me hit this guy, even over the storm. So, a little inconsistent with the sound. might be able to get in here without attracting too many more zombies. Pain torch for that one. This one. Oh, I can do the seats. Let's hope they still give nails. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, well, there's the next carpentry level. Can't help but notice there are no nails, though. Hmm. That's unfortunate. What about these? Spiffo counter. No nails. This, uh, isn't looking good. I'm not getting any nails from anything I disassemble. What is going on with that? <coughs> Excuse me. Has there been some kind of recent update? <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder what is going on with that. Let's go around the side here. See if maybe I can get to a different place. That is going to have nails for me. zombies in the back parking lot over here. I think the bar is just off this way. I think the bar had cots, though. This here is the hotel, and they have other furniture here as well, like dressers and stuff. I might be able to get some nails from that, so I'm, I'm actually going to pick this fight. Weapons break one after another here. Stay down. 
I don't really care what they have on them right now either, unless it's a box of nails, which is extremely unlikely, so I just... Let's go. Actually might be a police zombie with a vest. Oh, okay. I just got out of her reach, but that was another one of those moments where I hit space and he did he did not push. very weird how often that's been happening to me. Just drop it, I guess. Don't have a propane torch, so I still can't get in there. There is a lot of zombies here. Oh boy. That is probably on me. Because I've picked up several watches. Disassemble those and get them out of my inventory quick. All right. Oh boy. Kind of wish a zombie would open that door and pop out. If I could get a key to this place, it would be worth it, but there's just so many zombies here that I don't think I could safely lure a zombie into one of the hotel rooms and then get a key. Maybe if I can thin their numbers just a bit, I might be able to. See if I can make this work. Come on. Dude, bro, come on. Okay, there's a key. Woo! Give me the key. There might be nails in that room. So I'm gonna check. Oh, there is stuff in here. Welder mask. Propane torch. I might want to take that home with me if I find nothing else. Axe? Boxes of nails? Okay. Wow. This closet literally had everything I needed. And I got my cooking pot filled. Okay. Equip secondary. 
Put those away. Equip primary. Okay, that makes me lighter. It is getting late, though. So it's time to go back. This was... This was extremely beneficial today. Pretty sure I have a zombie on me from that group behind the spiffos. I'm going to try and just lose it. Running back over here to familiar territory. Wind's howling. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Oh no. Wind's howling, yeah. Just get away from these guys here. I don't want anything to do with the zombies right now. made it home. I don't have to run anymore. Oh, nope. Close, close, close the door. <laughs> close the door. Let's put all this stuff up. This amazing stuff. All of the weapons I found. Watch, boxes of nails, welder mask, ball peen hammer. And I'm gonna be honest with you, since I got two of these, put this on my back, put the baseball bat up. It's almost broken anyways. Oops, I actually put that in the wrong thing. That'll drive me just a little insane. Or I guess put this one on my back, not the new one. Put the new one away. All right. Say hello. Nice, beautiful, snowy day, isn't it? Perfect. Now, now that I've got multiple axes, I've got nails, I've got a saw, let's do some chopping. Cool. Give me two of these logs. We're going to get this place a lot safer. still have the cooking pot full of water on me. I should probably cook something now. I'm getting hungry.
fighting my malnutrition is, as always, a constant battle. Now, I don't have any more... I don't think I have any more meats that I can put in here, which is unfortunate. What about the sardines? Can I put these in a stew? I can. I certainly can. Okay. That'll work. Let's do that. Um, oh, I need from the floor here one of these dirty rags. And light the fire. Okay. So, well, let's grab let's grab trapping. Let's try try to be productive with my time here. fast forward that till it's done. Put out the fire. And I'm just going to eat all of this. Since it's already late in the day. Put that down. Let's check my weight. Still going up. Okay. Still going up. All right. This here is the motel key. Yeah, there isn't really much more for me to do now for the rest of the day. I don't want to risk banging a bunch of boards onto the windows when it starts getting dark like this in case I draw any attention and I don't see it. It's a good way to get killed. So let's just read my book for the rest of the day. There we go. 10 o'clock. Seven o'clock. Look at that. No snow. It's about time. Put the book down. All right, let's get to work. Let's do this. I've, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Let's open the box of nails. Give me some tools here. Put the katana in my bag now. I don't need that out. Same with these maps. I'm just making my inventory list longer. All right. Let's saw some planks. There we go. Six planks. here. I want all of these windows covered now. Uh, didn't I have some more planks somewhere? Did I drop them over here? No, I had some more, but... Oh, you know what? I know where they are. They're back here. I can also grab those other logs that I got sitting up here for some more. Just want to make sure I use the ones that I got, though, too. How 
many... Okay, I was going to say, how many do I have? Uh, oops. Hang on. Let me... Let me grab these. Or instead of grabbing them, I'll just saw them right out here, too. Because it'll just stick them in my inventory, then. Let's smoke a cigarette. I can't imagine this will be an all-day endeavor, but... You never know. The improvement of the base is a pretty big deal. I... This window has been broken and open for how... how long? There we go. That's good. All of them are boarded up. At least now I have a chance to survive an attack. This door I don't really care for. So I'm just going to go ahead and barricade this one shut. Oh, you know what? I was going to stop, but I actually have this one other log up here I almost forgot about. Yeah, let me just get this one, too. I'll go put these on that back door. One other... Well, no, I was going to try and make the door that that's missing in here. I don't know if it's missing. I think it's missing. I want to build a door right here at the bottom of this staircase. Maybe I should make crates instead. So I can start being better organized. There's a lot of things I could do here today. All right. Let's do step number one. Let's go grab some water. And actually, wait a minute. I can make rain collector barrels now, right? Ooh, let's do that. Let's do that instead. Hang on. Let's do that instead. It's too cold for it to rain right now, but there are moments where it does rain a little bit in the wintertime. Okay. Where did I put my nails? Did I put them in here? Oh, you know what? I still have some on me. It'll be fine. You know what would be really nice, actually, is to get this sink running again. Where is that? That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right there. Can I build outside of a window anymore? I'm not so sure you can. Let me try this. Oh, I hear a zombie, though. Whoop. Right outside the door. Not sure where she came in from, but... A 
let's try to build outside my bedroom window. Can I build a wooden floor? No, you cannot build outside that window. What about this one? Is it angle-oriented? There are several things in Zomboid that are. No. Oop, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh. Okay, you can. That's a pleasant surprise. Okay, I could probably get that sink running. Hang on a second. saw all of these. Now it ain't gonna look pretty. It's gonna look pretty meh. But that's okay. That's one, two, three, four. Carpentry, furniture. Okay, I don't have enough now for it. It's okay, I can go get some more wood. That's all I need, though, is wood. Ooh, almost walked off the side there. I should probably put a, like, um, like a fence, like a wooden fence there just to make sure I don't fall off. That would not be a fun time. I can get this sink running. I think I can get this sink running. If not this one, I can get one of them working. That would be really nice if I could get that. Crate, carpentry, furniture, ring collector barrel. Okay. Let's go with fence, wooden fence. There. I just do not want to fall off this thing, man. That would suck. Okay, that's safe enough. Let's plumb the sink. I don't know if you have to pick them up and put them back down still. 
Ooh, you know what? I don't have a pipe wrench. Yikes. Thought I had a pipe wrench. Let's go break into that other storage spot up this way. Let's go break into this up here and see what's in here. I'd really like to not be seen and have to deal with you guys right now. Oh, I'm disassembling it with a hammer and a screwdriver. It's a wooden door. Well, now I feel silly. I thought it was a metal door. Yeah. Figured you guys weren't gonna leave me alone for very long. Drop the skizzers. Wow. Well, it looks like I wasn't missing out on much. Dang. All right. I do not have a pipe wrench. Which means I cannot plumb that until I have one. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to build about three of these things. These rain collectors. On the off chance that it does rain. Then I'm not using saucepans to collect the water. See how many garbage bags I have. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty. Let's make them like right here. Well, yeah, we'll make them like right here. Up. What am I out of nails or something? Oh no, I just don't have enough wood. One more time with feeling. Chop down the tree. Rain collector. Put it right here. Okay. I've at least got three rain collectors now. I can probably start getting some water. <laughs> With feeling! I'm this close to the hammer in Valhalla. Goodness. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. Takes a long time to get me on here. Okay. Let's smoke a cigarette. 
Still got to get some water for the day. Let me grab that. Let's go find some water. Because I am getting hungry. Thinking maybe Spiffos? They need to dial it in on Mirage. Yeah, they do. Make it more focused. Yes, they do. It needs to be a bit more linear. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is, is really good. It is a really fun game. Um, it's just so big. And I have no idea if I would ever want to dedicate the time to get through the whole thing. Let's try to deal with these guys. I'm tired, so I'm not going to be fighting as well. But I need the water. only a few over here. It's not like it's that bad. Spiffos is great for loot. Yeah, it is. I didn't get any good loot this time around, though, from it. A one painful year challenge is a beast. I wanted to keep hitting that zombie, but too bad. I ain't even going to try and step on that thing. Just so we can nibble on my toes a little bit. I don't think so. I really want this truck. Pretty sure this is the one that's locked. Yeah, it is. I will eventually put my focus into getting in there. And, um, what are you doing in here? You've just been chilling in here, too? A lot of zombies just hanging out in rooms. Being all quiet and stuff in places I've already been. Yeah, give me the watch. Oh, there's a hammer in here. It's a decent weapon. I expected to just find bleach. I didn't expect to find anything close to a hammer. Let's try to fill up everything. Yeah, that's about as much as I'll get from that. Thank you, Spiffos. I didn't even close that door. I opened the other one. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks to Spiffos, I will eat tonight. Nice. Gotta say it the Marcus Phoenix way. Are you... Oh, okay. I was going to say, are you going to give me a hard time? But no. The answer is no. Courteous zombie. If there is such a thing. All right. So I'm going to run over back this way and try and make some food. Probably call it for the day. I got to start... Really unfortunate. This 
this isn't very fattening at all. All right. Eat a bag of chips. I'm still going to cook this. Oh, I need the ripped sheets off the ground again. And uh, light. His favorite in anything is possible. Yeah. Pegasus mounts. And silver swords for every child. Let's put out the fire. And drink all of that. Oops. Stable at 74 again. Man, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is probably... The craziest time I've ever had trying to keep a character's weight going up. Yeah, we're just going to have spoonfuls of gravy here. That didn't help. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And butter zombies, yeah. Butter zombies. Keeping it real old school. What about the ketchup? If I eat ketchup, am I going to get fat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I will. Ooh, I should have been doing that a while back. I gotta go grab all that ketchup from the Spiffos. Yeah, wow. Let's see how it does overnight. Does it drop off quickly? It It's dropped off one chevron, but not the other. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to eat that ketchup. Yep, eat it all. There we go. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. It is not the breakfast of champions. But it will stop me from becoming underweight and emaciated. Okay. Nuts. I think that'll just about do it. <laughs> I think that's good. Cool, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close the stream out here. Appreciate everybody for coming out. Thanks for hanging out, as always. And until next time, take it easy. <laughs>